Hello there, my name is Caitlin Maharg and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm a narcissistic abuse survivor. So I talk a lot about narcissistic personality disorder and what it is like to be in a relationship with a narcissist. So I've been doing reaction videos to songs that I feel like are pertain to a narcissist or a narcissistic relationship. So today I'm doing a song from Madonna. It's called Devil Wouldn't Recognize You. And a few people recommended this song to me uh, through my channel. And I listened to it a couple times and it is definitely for sure about a narcissist in my opinion. So let's do a reaction to it. Um, yeah, if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can watch more videos on narcissism. So let's play. All right, so already, I mean, what I'm taking from like the first verse and everything, like, so it we saw that it was like storming in the beginning, a thunderstorm, like already you kind of associate that with like darkness or sadness, and we see her like in a black cloak, cloak. We can't even see her face, like she's hunched uh, over in a ball, and. Yeah, and she's just, like, saying, like, you know, it's almost like, you know, if you would, th she, it almost looks like you would be safe, but inside, yeah, there's a darkness going on. Let me, I pulled up the lyrics, so let's see, as quiet as it is tonight, you th almost think you were safe. Your eyes are full of surprises. They cannot predict my fate. Like, with that, like, when you're pre talking to a narcissist, it's like, you you don't know where you stand with a narcissist ever like and you could do something perfectly right but then it can switch on you it's like i guess that's how i'm taking like let me start from the beginning Hello there, my name is Caitlin Maharg and welcome to my channel. I'm a narcissistic abuse survivor, so my channel is all about talking about narcissistic personality disorder and relationships with narcissists. So I've been doing reaction videos lately to songs that I feel, I feel like they, as if they talk about... Ugh. Hello there, my name is Caitlin Maharg and welcome to my channel. I'm a narcissistic abuse survivor, so my channel is all about talking about narcissistic personality disorder and what it is like to be in a relationship with a narcissist. I was, I dated a couple of narcissists, so I don't know, going through the whole process of dating them and being hoovered back in and then healing from it, it was a long process, so 
I'm hoping that talking about it helps educate some of you out there about these types of relationships. So today I'm doing a reaction video to the song Devil Wouldn't Recognize You from Madonna. A couple or probably a few of my subscribers recommended this song to me and I listened to it a couple times in my opinion. Yeah, it's for sure about a narcissist. And if you like the video, if you like my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe so you can watch more videos about narcissism. So let's play this song, Madonna's Devil Wouldn't Recognize You. Yeah, so already what I'm getting through from this, uh, you know, verse and just seeing the early part of the video is, yeah, we're seeing like a darkness. There's a thunderstorm. There's, it's pouring down rain. Madonna's in this black cloak. You can't even see her. She's crouched in a ball. Like, you see that she's going through a struggle. And she's talking about a person. Like, it almost looks, you know, it almost looks as if, she is safe like it has the appearance of her being safe but inside there's something going on and she's talking about uh someone that's full of surprises and but that this person can't predict her fate and i feel like it's almost like she's in this darkness but she's ready to come out of it ready to heal from this type of person who is full of surprises he's not consistent um, yeah I feel that's that's like an issue with most narcissists or a lot of narcissists is they lack consistency you never know where you stand you never know what's going to happen that's why I feel you become hyper vigilant in these relationships because you're just you're constantly on guard because Narcissists are constantly bringing you down again and again and again, but you try to climb out of that. But yeah, she's saying she's like pretty much, yeah, this person's, he's full of surprises, but he's not going to predict her fate anymore. Like she, he's not going to have control over her anymore. Yeah, I have the lyrics on my phone just in case. Um, but yeah, th then, uh, the angels, they surround my heart telling me to let you go. Like, she knows it's time to finally let go. That there's a darkness that he has and there's this light inside of her. I'm taking the angels are like her intuition and she's, she knows it's time to finally let go of this person. Let's play more. <laughs> Oh. 
Ooh, I, th- she said so many good things. There's so much she says. That's why I have the lyrics on my phone. Like, um, I bet he couldn't. I bet he couldn't recognize. But I played right into it. Who am I to criticize? Somehow I get through it, and you won't even realize th- falling through your own disguise. Like, I feel like she's saying, like, she's already hinting at, she's talking about the devil. Like, the devil wouldn't even recognize you, even though you're kind of like the equivalent of the devil. You have this darkness in you, but your illusion is so good that the devil wouldn't even recognize you. And she's she's like, who am I to even criticize? Because... That, who am I to criticize that the devil doesn't recognize you? Like, I fell for it myself. I fell for the illusion that you you gave. So, yeah, I can't, I can't criticize the devil. Like, I did the same thing. Um, and then she's saying, yeah, she's like, somehow I'm going to get through it. But you're going to be so in your illusion. You're going to be so in your own world, in your own narcissistic world that you're not even going to realize that I'm going to heal from you and I'm going to move on from you. Like, you don't think I will, but yeah, just, just wait and see. Oh, yeah, this is good. Yeah, somehow I, I'll get through it and you won't even realize. Yeah, I feel like the narciss- narcissist, like, they feel like you are going to hold on to them forever. But but it, that's not the way it has to be. Like, for the longest time, I held on to both of my narcissists in some way because I didn't want to believe that it was sort of, I guess, a waste. Like, I don't view it as a waste, like, dating these guys because, you know, I'm young and I'm okay now. You know, I still have time to find a good relationship, and but you don't want to feel like you wasted all this time with someone that in the end didn't care about you, that in the end they didn't have good intentions for you. Like, that's just not a pleasant feeling to think that you spent years of your life with someone who never even cared. It's not a good feeling. But, um... Yeah, she's like, yeah, over and over again. You see her on the, singing on the ground, and she's like, you know, she's she's crumbling. Like, she's like, over and over, like, I just came back to you again and again and again, like, hoping for some sort of change. And that's the addiction, the trauma bond you have with a narcissist, this roller coaster ride that they put you on. It is so addicting. I was consumed with with the narcissist in my life because of the abuse they did the emotional abuse and manipulation it got me so addicted to them and i almost felt like i had to prove them prove to them that i'm worth it in some way because they either seem i almost believed in the entitlement that they gave themselves this grandiose thinking like I believe that they were great but no it was just an illusion but I kept going back and being hurt again and again and again Ooh, oh I play yeah over and over I keep coming back from where I play into your fantasy now that it's over you can lie to me right through your smile I, I I've seen behind your eyes now it's over no more intoxicating my mind yeah I like it like she yeah, she's like, I mean, you can you can lie to me with your smile. Like, you can lie to me with a smile on your face. My narcissist definitely did this. Like, the malignant one, he was so great at lying to me with a smile on his face. And even one time, I feel like he knew I was going to be so angry and I was going to, you know, screw him over. I was ready to do it. And I feel like he read my face like he knew that I was pissed. But you know what he did? He smiled. He smiled at me and then that like, my guard went down. And then I didn't end up standing up for myself like I hoped for. Mm, Yeah. But she, yeah, she sees behind his eyes. Like, she's, she's, there's no more intoxicating. Like, she knows what's going on behind the illusion that he gives off. So, let's play more.
Ooh, I want to go. Okay, let's look at the second verse, which he said. Oh, um, you almost fooled yourself this time that, that all the saints be praised. You hide your sadness behind your smile and you keep your, your lost heart breaks. The steps that edge along the ledge is higher than it seems that I've been on that ledge before. You can't hide yourself from me. Ooh, these lyrics are so good, so poetic. Um, yeah, like, narcissists, I mean, yeah, they, they fool themselves, like, their narcissism and their ego, like, it literally fools themselves, like, they believe that they'll, they'll somehow make it in their mind that they're doing nothing wrong, that you somehow deserved the treatment you're getting from them, and that they, they believe it themselves, like, I don't know, like, this one narcissist I, I, um, watch on YouTube sometimes, he said that, yeah, sometimes he knows he does something wrong, and he'll be like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have talked to her that way, but then suddenly, like, his narcissism goes in, into play, and is like, no, she deserved that, like, they twist it in a way that they are always right, no matter what awful thing they do. And then you hide your sadness behind your smile. Yeah, like, and I was even thinking about this, like, both of my narcissists, when I would see them, like, I had an image of them in person, and, you know, they would, you know, uh, manipulate me in person, and I fell for it. But I remember I would see them in pictures, and they might be smiling, but somehow, like, in the pictures, like, there were, it looked sad, there was a sadness in their eyes, even when they were smiling, it was almost like I just started to see through it, I, I could see the emptiness within them, it took a while to get there, but I remember, like, seeing them in pictures, I was like, they, the way I view them in person is not the way they, they come across in pictures, like, yeah, it was interesting, like, pictures could sense the darkness within them, um, yeah, and you keep your lost heartbreaks, yeah, like, they break hearts over and over again, and they never give you closure, and they keep coming back again and again and again, yeah, yeah, they have many lovers, many sources of supply, and then the steps on the edge is much higher than it seems, yeah, um, but she's saying, yeah, like, yeah, she's been on this ledge with him before, she's been on this you know, roller coaster ride where she feels like, or, or she's been like sort of pushed off the ledge by a narcissist, discarded by him in a cruel way, discarded by him, then you fall off the ledge and you're, you're gone for a while and then they end up coming back, but she's like, I've been on this ledge before, like, this is not my first rodeo with you and, I mean, not, you, you're not gonna fool me anymore, like, I know the truth, I see the truth. I do love, yeah, I love that. She's like, the devil wouldn't recognize you. And all these people, you know, you have all these po people fooled, but I recognize you. I do. I do recognize you. And I feel like, I feel, I feel like good about myself because it's just reminding me, like this part of the song is like, you know, I'm thinking about my narcissist and they have so many people fooled, but finally they don't have me fooled anymore like I know the truth and it, it does feel good that I have it's like I gained some sort of power in me just by knowing what they are and that's why I think educating yourself on narcissism is super important and it helps protect yourself and empower you so let's play more <laughs>
Yeah, this part is super symbolic. Like, yeah, she, like, these two dancers are, like, her heartbeat. Like, she's coming alive. She's ripping off this dark cloak, this dark cloud that she had over her because of this person, this narcissistic person in her life that drained her. She she knows the truth, and she's finally, she's finally coming alive again, and she's strong, and yeah. Oh, this is good. Yeah, I mean, this is so good. I love how she says, now that I'm sober, like, there's no more intoxicating my mind. Like, that's, that's why no contact is so recommended. That's, no contact helps you become sober from this person. Narciss being in a relationship with a narcissist is addicting. It's an addictive cycle. That's, that's why it causes so much damage. That's why you put up with this crap that they put you through, this abuse, because the abuse creates an addiction. But yeah, with no contact, once you're, you have months and years away from this toxic individual, you're not going to view them the same way. Your emotional thinking towards this person is going to become lower and lower and logic's going to set in and you're going to realize all the awful things they did to you, all the things that you put up with that you didn't have to put up with. And yeah, that's why, you know, that's why educating yourself on narcissism is just super important too. Like, knowing what to do, how to get out of this situation. But, um, yeah, it is sort it is, you literally need to become sober from this person and then when if you ran into them on the street you know you, they shouldn't be in your life ever again at all but if you did happen to see them you're not gonna fall for it again you're not going to be manipulated again because you're gonna know the truth finally Yeah. Yeah, that's a beautiful performance from start to finish. Like everything meant something. Um, all the choreography and costumes, it all had a meaning to it. Um, but yeah, I think the song's super empowering. Yeah, the way she, you see her, you know, crouch down in one place and then at the end of the video, she's standing off on her own and she knows the truth and she even points like I imagine her pointing to the person or pointing to you know whoever and just being like the devil wouldn't recognize you but I do like I recognize you and I think yeah that's so empowering like I said like you go through this phase years with this person a lot of times and you don't know what you're going through. You are confused all the time. You never know where you stand with this person. You're hyper vigilant all the time. You're doubting yourself all the time. 
and you just live a life uh, you just live in confusion in a fog but she's sober now she she's not gonna fall for this again she knows the truth and maybe other people the devil wouldn't recognize you that they wouldn't see your darkness and all these other people might you might have them fooled but you don't have me fooled anymore and i think that is so empowering like finally to know the truth and like i said like me knowing the truth about my narcissist it did so much to me it in a good way it helped me heal because i realized it was never me it was never my fault and i'm a good person and everything all the negative things they said about me all the ways they made me feel all the times they made me cry like that was that was on them that it was the darkness in them and i had a normal reaction for you know I had a normal reaction to the situation, but now I know the truth and I'm out of it and I'm happy as can be. So that was my reaction to Devil Wouldn't Recognize You from Madonna. I think it is a beautiful song. I feel like I'm going to be listening to it on replay because I just, I like the way it sounds too. It's just super good. Uh, if you like this reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe so you can watch more videos about narcissism and Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.